A number of pro-Zionists are trying to smear Ilhan Omar for a small part of what she said in an interview, a quick interview, uh, in regards to college campus free speech. Do you think this will translate to the Jewish students who are facing anti-Semitism here on campus? So I actually met a lot of Jewish students that are in the encampment. Um, and I think it is really unfortunate that people don't care about the, the fact that all Jewish kids should be kept safe and that we should not have to tolerate anti-Semitism um, or bigotry for all Jewish students, whether they are pro-genocide or anti-genocide. Because she suggested that some people are pro-genocide. Now, perhaps this is just an issue of semantics, but I doubt it. I mean, if you go by Ben Shapiro's standards, if you criticize Israel, you're criticizing Jewish people. You know, that if you hate the government of Israel, you actually hate the Jews. Well, if you're okay with 39,000 civilian deaths, and of those, 16,000 were children, 10,000 were women, if you're okay with Israel cutting off food, water, and uh, any sort of aid to civilians, if you're cool with displacing over 2 million people, if you're fine with targeting over 29 hospitals, targeting learning institutions and mosques, then yes, you're pro-genocide. Perhaps you might try to say that it's technically not a genocide uh, based on, I don't know, you could try to figure out something, I'm sure. But the International Court of Justice found that it's quite plausible that Israel's actions could be considered genocide. Yes, Israel has the right to defend itself. And this isn't how you're going to accomplish that. Now, perhaps a take on this is that nobody really wants this sort of suffering and, and genocidal behavior. Nobody really wants to see that. You know, they don't want there to be a genocide, and yet at the same time, they support the government of Israel. Well, that puts you in quite a pickle, doesn't it? You're going to have to choose, aren't you? That's part of what these protests are about. On another side of things, though, if you're using this issue to squeeze in anti-capitalist messaging in these protests, like waving a professionally produced sign that says capitalism is deadly or just anti-american messaging or just promoting bad stereotypes of woke ideology then you get on my shit list as well there's a genocide happening you're going to these protests and that's what you're going to focus on hey well guess what communism is deadly as well all economic systems are deadly if you really want to break it down all government types are deadly all systems are oppressive in one way or another. All rules, roles, customs, standards, and values are oppressive when you really break them down. But you can't escape them. If you destroy the ones that exist, other ones will take their place just immediately. You literally cannot be free of them unless there were no people anymore. And then you'd be oppressed by the natural world. So how does dismantling or breaking apart the current systems the rules, the roles, the standards, the customs, and values. How does breaking those things down and viewing yourselves as a victim of those things, how does that help you? But to go back to the main issue of this video, at least that's what it was supposed to be anyway. Personally, I wish this country would stop supporting Israel in general, as well as Ukraine. I wish we didn't have our fingers in so many pies, that we weren't tipping the scales in so many countries and that we could actually focus on making our own country better. But that's a pipe dream. The warmongering neocons and neoliberals are the ones running things, so, you know, whatever. Have a joy-joy day!